Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to create a cover for your Ingram Spark children's book in Canva. If you haven't seen the first two videos of this series, then make sure you check those out, and those show you how to create your inside pages for your book. So in this video, we're going to be creating the cover for your paperback book for Ingram Spark. And for this method that we're going to be using, we will need an ISBN number before we even start creating the cover. And that's because we're going to be using the template that Ingram Spark is going to provide to us. I do have another video that I created in the past where you don't need the template and you're just creating the cover file on its own without the template. So if you want to do it that way, you can, but just keep in mind that Ingram Spark does not add the barcode for you. So if you do it that way, you will still need to go back and add the barcode to that file. But with this method, we're going to have everything all done in one go. If you're purchasing or you already purchased your ISBN from Bowker or somewhere else, then you can just log in there and grab your ISBN number. But if you're planning on using the free ISBN from Ingram Spark, then you will need to start adding your title to Ingram Spark already so that you can generate that ISBN number. So I'll start with that in this video. So I'm on my Ingram Spark dashboard and I'm going to click add title and I'm going to pick print book only and for do you have files ready to upload I'll just pick the third one no but I'll enter my title information and submit files later and for what would you like to do we're going to pick print distribute and sell book and then I'll click continue then all you're going to do is click on receive a free ISBN owned by Ingram Spark. And then click yes, I want a complimentary ISBN. And there's your new ISBN. So now you can actually just exit out of this. So go back to all titles. And you have your book set up incomplete there, but you do have your free ISBN right there that you can just copy and paste. And then we're going to go to Tools and Resources. And in here, we're going to go to Cover Template Generator. And then you're just going to paste your ISBN in here. And if you went through all the rest of the steps for the book, then it'll actually pre-populate your trim size here, which is really cool. But we stopped at the first page, so I'll just need to go in here and pick the proper trim size. Mine for this book is 8.25 by 8.25, which isn't an option here, so I'm gonna do custom. But you might have like eight and a half by eight and a half or eight by 10 or one of the more standard ones. But I'm gonna do custom, and then I'm gonna pick a color interior. And then for the interior paper, I like to do premium color because the ultra premium color makes it much more expensive to print. But if you are really focused on the art of your book and how it looks, and if the price isn't an issue for you, then you can pick ultra premium color. Then I'm going to pick paperback for my binding and custom perfect bound. And then you can pick gloss or matte. I'm going to pick gloss. If you have a cover with like a lot of white or a lot of black, then I think the matte looks really nice. But if you have like a lot of color, then I think gloss looks really good. So I'm going to enter in my width and length here. And for duplex enabled, that's for if you want printing on the inside of the cover. For this video, I'm going to do no, and I'm not going to have that. I actually do show you how to do that in that other video that I mentioned. So you can check that out if you want to do the duplex enabled option. Here I'm going to enter my page count. And the page count, it's very important that you get that correct because that is going to affect the thickness of the spine. So that's going to affect the size of your cover. So if that changes after you create your cover, then you're going to have to create a new cover because your cover dimensions will change. And my file type, I'm going to pick PDF. 
And here I'm going to enter my email address and confirm it. And then for the price, I always skip this part because I find that sometimes I want to change the price and I don't want to have to upload a new cover file. So personally, I don't really like putting the price on the cover, but I know that most books do have the price on the cover. So if you want to include it, then you can. And then I'm just going to click submit. Then you're going to go over and check your email. And it'll take a couple minutes, but then you should eventually get an email like this. And if you scroll down, you'll find the attachment. And then I'm just going to download the attachment. The cover template file is going to include all this white around it. So the cover template file is actually going to always be 21 inches by 12 inches. And it's right down here at the bottom, you can see. So I'm going to go to Canva and I'm going to create a new design and I'm going to do custom size. And here I'm going to put those dimensions. So I'm going to change the units to inches and for the width, I'm going to do 21 and for the height, I'm going to do 12. So then I'll click create new design. So now we have our 21 by 12 document and I'm going to name it the title of my book and cover. And then we're going to upload the PDF. So I'm going to go to uploads and upload files. And I'm going to click that PDF. And then I'll click open. And now we just want to drop this into our project. So I'm going to click on it. And it's going to drop it right in. And as you can see, everything is like separate pieces here but it is all in the correct spot. So these are in the left corner here, and this is touching the right corner, so everything is in the proper place. Now let's go ahead and set up some guides so that we know where to put everything. So I'm just going to zoom in here, and if you don't see your rulers here, then you can go to File, Settings, Show Rulers and Guides, and make sure that's on. And then I'm just going to click on the ruler and drag, and I'm going to pull so that it goes right to this edge here. And then I'm going to pull another one to the other edge of the blue. And then I'll pull it from the top and over to the right. And what we're marking off right now is the bleed area. So you need your background to extend through this blue area, but you have to make sure you don't have any text or important elements in the blue area. If you have a tree in the background, that can be in the blue area, but if you have text like in your title or if you have the edge of something, then keep that inside because that's where it's gonna get trimmed. And if you wanna know more about what bleed is and why we have to do this for bleed, then check out my video, What is Bleed? So I'm just gonna continue and put all of these guides in place. So then I'll pull this one over and this one. And then as you can see, there are these two little skinny blue lines and those are for the spine. And if you find that your guide is snapping to where you don't want it, then just hold down control on your keyboard and then you can actually move it to exactly where you want it. And a lot of people ask me how they can put text on their spine. Well, if you look at the template here, it says no spine text allowed. You can't actually have any text on the spine unless you have at least 48 pages in your book. So now that I have all of these guides set up, I'm going to go to file settings and I'll make sure lock guides is on. And this way you're not going to be able to move the guides and mess it up. Now you can go ahead and add your front and back cover. I would usually just start with a rectangle. So if you press the letter R on your keyboard, it'll bring up a rectangle. And then you can just make it whatever color you want your cover to be. So if you want it to be white, you can make it white and then just cover that up. But you want to make sure that you keep these cut lines here. Those are very important. And you wanna make sure you do cover all of the blue. So I will need to just pull this out a little bit to make sure that I have all that blue covered. 
And you can also show and hide your guides by pressing Shift R. And that's going to help you to make sure that you covered all that blue. As you can see, I have a little bit of blue over here. So I'm just going to pull this rectangle out a teeny bit there. And now I'll just do Shift R again so I can see my guides. And I can go ahead and add anything for the front or the back cover here. So I'm just going to go to Uploads and I'm going to upload my cover art. I had already made this artwork to span across the front and back of the book. So I'm going to put it up here and I'm going to make sure it goes all the way to the edge there. And I'll expand it and make sure it goes to all of these guides. So if I zoom in, then I can make sure it goes all the way to the guides here. And this one goes a little bit past, so I could pull it up a little bit. And then I can just press the letter T on my keyboard to bring up some text. And I'll just type out my title. And then I'll pick a font. And of course, I can go to effects and make a curve. And then I'll press the letter T on my keyboard again, so I can put my name on here. And then I can also add some text to the back. So I'm going to press the letter T on my keyboard again to bring up some text. And I'll type a little title here. I'm going to make a rectangle to put a little paragraph on. And I'll give it some transparency. If you want, you can also add like an author picture here and some text to go along with it. But the last thing that we're going to want to add is the barcode. In order to grab the barcode, we're going to need to make a copy of the template that we have since that has the barcode in it. So you're going to need to make sure that you click on one of the elements in your design so that this little menu comes up and then you can click on position. And you're going to go down and find the pink layer and you're going to select it and then you'll see this little menu come up here where you can click the duplicate button and that makes a copy of it and as you can see you have the barcode right here so i'm just going to click on crop and i'm going to crop this image so that all i have left is the barcode so i'll usually crop it and then i'll zoom in because you want to get all of that pink out. So then you can go in and crop it again and just get the rest of the pink out. And then you can place that wherever you want it on the back of your book. So I'm going to put mine right here. And then I also like to add a white rectangle behind the barcode because it's like so close to the text here. We want to have a little bit of extra like breathing room around the text. So I'm just going to press the letter R on my keyboard to bring up a rectangle. And I'm going to change the color to white. And then I'm just going to make this smaller. And I'm going to make sure I put it behind the barcode. And then you can just go ahead and size it however you want. So you can have a little more space around the text of the barcode. Now it's all done and you can go ahead and export it for Ingram Spark. So in order to do that, you'll just go to Share, Download, and you're going to want to pick PDF Print, and you need to check Flatten PDF. It's very important. And make sure you do not check Crop Marks and Bleed or Include Notes. For the color profile, you'll want to pick CMYK. If you don't have Canva Pro, then you can pick RGB. And I have a free tool on my website that will convert your RGB PDF to CMYK. So that's an option as well. And then you're going to click download. Now for the inside pages, you do need to convert your file to PDF X1A in order for it to pass for Ingram Spark. But I have found that for the cover file, they don't seem to require that. But if you want to do it just in case, sometimes I just do it anyways. You can do it with Adobe Acrobat Pro, but 
you do have to pay for that. So if you don't want to pay for it, I do have a tool on my website. So you can just go to heathercash.com. And then if you scroll down, you'll see Ingram Spark free tool. So just click on fix my PDF. And then right here, you'll just click choose file. And you're going to pick that PDF that you just downloaded from Canva and click open. And then it's going to convert your file to a PDF X 1A. And it also is going to convert it to CMYK as well. So once it's done converting, you'll see this button here become active and then you can just click on it to download your new file. And you'll see that it's going to add underscore PDF X to the file name. The file type is still PDF but the name is going to have underscore PDF X. And this is the file that you're going to want to upload to Ingram Spark. So that's it for the cover file. So that is now done. And stay tuned for the next video in this series where I will show you how to upload your files to Ingram Spark and fill out all the pricing info and all that and publish your book. And if you're working on a children's book, then join my creativity club on Facebook where we share our projects and support each other and help each other to reach our goals. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, or as always, you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.